What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? Jamal Hunter X here, bringing us an episode of Project Equip. Once hope you all having a fantastic day. With that being said, let's get into today's episode. Alrighty, guys. So I kind of changed my mind on what I wanted to actually animate. So it seems like we are trying to automate steel. And it came to my mind, wait a minute, Steel has a block. We should be able to animate that block. And then, you know, boom, shaloom, Bob, your uncle, Fanny, your aunt. We have all the freaking steel in the freaking world. So I don't know why I didn't think about that <laughs> for some reason. Like, it just completely drew my mind that, uh, yeah, uh, Steel has a block that we can 100% uh, animate. I honestly, all right. I remember what we were trying to do. We were trying to fully automate the modularium thing, right? Yeah, because we need end steel. And then end steel needs dark steel, and dark steel needs uh dark steel needs steel. And that's where that whole freaking thing came from, right? So I'm always like, I'm sitting here like, bruh, what <laughs> I'm saying like, oh, like why, why wait when I can just plunk, boom, boom, shalom, Benny aunt, boom. We now can automate, fully automate steel for free. I mean, free is a relative term, uh, but still we can get unlimited steel for, oh, I, I literally named it the same thing again. <laughs> what is wrong with me? Of steel. There we go. And I should be able to come flying over here and putting it inside of this thing. All right. Which, by the way, I don't think this is loaded when I'm over there like this. And let me come up here real quick and edit this. And too bad it's not on a, it's in a really awkward spot, if I'm being honest, in a really awkward spot, but hey, it gets the job done. It's chunk loaded now. I'm almost tempted to add chicken chunks to the pack just so I can get an actual chunk loader. I might even, you know what? I might even build a vanilla, vanilla. actually, I don't even know if I can build a vanilla, vanilla style chunk loader. In this dimension because i'm not even sure if i can even go to the nether in this dimension so there's that uh we now have steel taken care of that that's right steel is taken care of uh we can now tell it to automate steel and steel is it gonna do it though uh all right we need to put a ender chest on top of here and then you're gonna do your oh hold on hold uh, uh stop that and you're gonna do your whole thing right your whole spiel yeah you're gonna make dark steel like you're supposed to did it make it there's no way it made it wait what it made it that fast i guess so Okay, so that's one step down. Elementium, where we can get and palladium. Uh, elementium. Uh, we can get a ton of because we can just animate it, right? But at the same time, I don't really have that set up just yet. So I mean, for right now, we can just you know get it ready and i'll probably set it up in between episodes unless if we really need it right now then i can set it up which shouldn't be too bad right all right modularium do you already know how to make mod you you do not so you need to be taught that you that's your recipe. And then I can just go around back here. 
put you here. Boom shalom. Bob. Oh, uh, modularium. Okay. Wait, we also need to teach you how to decompress uh blocks of elementium. Like this. Uh does uh you know how AE has the pattern thing? I wonder if refined storage has the same thing. We can access the the Okay. Let's see if we are able to fully craft modularium. Let's craft like a stack. Okay, so we're missing endstone and palladium. Oh, you know what? It's being weird. That's right. This thing is being weird about it. There we go. That should fix it. Yeah. Yes. Oh, I know why. I know why it's doing. Mm. I know exactly why this is broken. This block right here has a weird issue with EMC. And that's why it's, it acts really strange. So I think think we're gonna have to set that to a negative priority so that way we can actually just throw whatever we need uh for example like you know eight thousand palladium there you go now i should be able to say hey craft me 64 of these there it is there it is it's it's a weird bug i think with oh you know what i just realized something mm okay good so it does craft it in order that's good to know that it crafts it in order that's pretty pog uh so we want the alloy furnace uh from modular machinery that's what i'm working towards that's our goal i feel like and to make this we're gonna need Wait, didn't we already, I think we already made the blueprint for this. Yeah, it's right here. Uh, so we need like a machine controller and stuff like that, which is not really the easiest thing in the world to make or produce. So we need one of those. We need circuit boards and all sorts of shenanigan stuff. Hmm. Hmm. You know, I, I, I have a genuine question about the thing. Cause if I can animate this, that would be super nice. Okay. Oh, it's kind of busy though. I don't want to. I don't want to take it from there though. Oh, here's actually a good test. Actually, I just thought about this right now. Like what if we were to test uh, the mob crusher, if we, instead of animating it right now, let's auto craft it. Uh, we're gonna need this eventually. So we're gonna hold off on that for right this second. So we need, what do we need for this? Books and quill, that's already automated. Electrum gears, I think a lot of that's already automated. Except for like maybe this, this. And that's about it, I think. In terms of what we need. Books and quills should be easy. Those should technically have EMC, but they don't. All right, I gotta, I gotta teach it the whole nine yards. Basically, I think anything with a low EMC value might be bugged out with the system, which wouldn't surprise me, right? Um, I, I think I remember complaining about this mod doing that in another, in my previous playthrough of it being really weird and buggy. Uh, mob. Crusher. 
All right, we should be able to fully autocraft that by hand without any issues. It's processing. What is it processing? Oh, over here. Right. Okay. Never mind. I'm dumb. Don't mind me. Uh okay. So back to this. We need insulating glass, which I mean that doesn't seem too hard. Uh I need to go grab our pulverizer actually. So I'm gonna go grab some machines and we'll be right back. Okay guys, so we have our let's don't mm, wait what where did my leadstone fuck stocks go huh oh they're right in my youtuber blindness i swear it's a thing and then i just gotta fix this now oh i i can't play minecraft today i don't know why but it seems like my coordination skills are not working and then i just need to be able to tell you to be able to make Iron? Pulverized iron? I kind of want to fully automate this in a sense, right? Uh, pulverized iron. Pulverizer with iron ingots, please. Okay. And I think I need to, I almost put that inside the pulverizer. Oh, uh, I think I need to do some weird stuff with the, there is a auto workbench from immersive engineering, right? So if I look here, immersive, I think it broke again. I think the thing broke again. Wouldn't surprise me though. Uh, you, I don't need my watch at the moment. I don't need this, this, this. All right, that's about it in terms of that. Let's look at this real quick because I think under heavy machinery, we can get, is it not under heavy machinery? All right, guys, I've decided on what I want to do is I want to try and automate vacuum tubes. So to do that, Oh, I did, picked it up, didn't I? All right, so we're gonna need 10 of those. So 10 steel scaffolding. Let's see. Oh, 10 steel scaffolding. We're gonna need, let's see, two treated slabs. So four treated slabs. Slabs, treated slabs. Which I'm gonna guess. Wait. Yeah, times two, so four. Uh two redstone engineering blocks. Alright, redstone engineering. Two of those. Eight light engineering blocks. These should be easy. Light engineering blocks. I just need iron mechanical pipes. Uh, I need iron plates. Uh, let me see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Uh, okay. You're still working on that. You can do that. That'd be great. I have a feeling that this is going to do something bad. Is it going to make iron? Okay. It's going to make iron actual iron plates. Okay, good. I thought it was going to make something else. Why aren't you pushing to the top? Okay. It was just a weird bug. Okay. Uh, um, can I make iron plates using this? Yeah, I just need to press the plate press. Okay, we'll be right back. Alrighty, so I got a few extra plates going i don't know how many of these i'm actually gonna need so i'm just gonna there that should be plenty uh we are trying to make light engineering blocks 
Uh, I forgot how many exactly I needed. Oh, I need to go replace this. Hold on. Oops. I totally forgot to uh, put this back. That way, uh, when it goes to go make steel rods, it actually makes steel rods instead of plates or whatever. Uh, so we needed eight light engineering blocks. Eight. There we go. Eight of those, please. And then four heavies. Oh boy, this might be uh, where we might uh, lose. Yeah. Okay, this might be a place. Okay, so we need steel plates. A lot of steel plates. Oh, uh, let's just get like, I don't know, like 130. That that sounds that sounds good to me. Okay, so we have that now. I need to be very careful on exactly how many of these I made. Oh, we need electron plates. Okay, let's just make 32. Does that sound good? I don't even know. Dude, I wanna, guys, I've really been itching to make a factorial let's play again. I know that I never finished the first one, XD. I only like what, made it like three episodes or something or something like that. And uh, ended up, uh, you know, not end up continuing, but I really wanna, you know, get into uh playing factorio uh by any chance do i have okay i said i need four of these right yeah i think it was four that i needed and we're just waiting for the last electron plate here come on come on there we go and then because we're doubling it right because we need two and then we need eight conveyor belts. Conveyor belts. Conveyor belts. Okay. Conveyor belts. Boom. Boom. Shalom. Hoggy woggy. We get what we need from this. Okay. So we need to set up two of these. One's going to be for electron tubes, and the other is going to be for other stuff so it's gonna be okay that looks uh super simple so it's just gonna be boom boom it's gonna be two two i think that's a little close to the wall so what i'm probably gonna do here is do like four out or something uh Engineer block you Okay, I'm just gonna try and copy the setup The way it is And then zigzag Double engineering block Two slabs there Okay, and then super simple conveyor belts. Going all in one direction. And then, then what? Oh, I think it's like, ah, it's two layers. That's why I was like, this doesn't feel right. There you go. That feels more appropriate. We don't need this one of animation right now. What are we doing? Oh. Okay, which block is it? Which block am I smack racking? Oh, there we go. Perfect. And then give a three a three space. That's heavy engineering blocks. That's the wrong one. Thing like that. Uh redstone engineering. You, 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 you. You, you, shoot, shoot. Oh my God, I'm such a professional. Such a professional builder. But yeah, I've been really itching to play Factorio for a really, really while now. I'm thinking about doing a Let's Play on it because why the heck not? Okay, 
So we have two of the assembler machines and I'm assuming input goes here. Uh, we need more power. Uh, thanks. I'm going to just do that for now. And then your job is going to be, we need two vacuum tube things. Right. So vacuum, uh, vacuum cube why can i not type today and then we need that so we need this one one two of those and then we'll we'll kind of go from there why does it look like it's nighttime even though it's daytime i hate that uh, we need, uh, do I, I probably should actually probably put this into a chest first, then input it and then do whatever I got to do. That probably makes the most sense. Kind of like how we have it here where it's like, it's going into a diamond chest or whatever. Uh, like this. Okay. Okay. We're getting somewhere. We're getting somewhere. So you, and then the crafter will go. Actually, you know what? I'm going to do this. This is going to sound silly, but I'm actually going to run the crafter underneath the, the ground here for both things. Because what I'm going to do is I'm going to wire it in such a weird way. Here's how I'm going to wire it. I'm going to run like a special underneath the ground uh, cable. Right. So that will get covered up. And then this will run underneath the floor completely. All the way outside. And then I need to figure out where This is because that's where it's going to go right there. Uh, it's going to go right here. How far am I? Oh, I'm not even there yet. Jesus. This is a truck. And a half. What the heck? All right, there we go. And then, then this cable is going to run down. So let me fix that. <laughs> it's going to drive me nuts. Even though I, I'm not going to see it. Just knowing it's there is going to drive me nuts. And just like that, the whole thing is cabled up. And we'll build like a, a factory block thing here to kind of like cover it up. It'll be fine. And boom, Shaloom. Actually, what I should do technically is something like that. 
That way I can still access the crafters. You're going to get this blueprint. You're going to be for vacuum tubes. And then you're going to be for circuit boards. Now, I'm not sure if it's smart enough to know. Okay, so what do we need for vacuum tubes? We need glass, nickel plate, copper wire. Okay, so glass is going to be kind of a pain in the butt. But more than so than ever, copper wire is also going to be kind of a little bit of a doozy. That needs and that we're going to need another heavy, I think. Heavy. There's a lot of automation that goes into this, I feel. Why is it not showing up? Am I just incapable? I think that's just what it is. Am I just incapable? Uh, two of these, please. And then we just need a little bit of extra stuff. So conveyor belts. Uh, piston. Uh, steel scaffolding and a conveyor belt, which we're out of. Oh, it's heavy engineering. That's why it's not showing up. Okay, I'm literally just incapable. <laughs> XD. Uh, we can probably just do it right here. I don't see why not. I didn't make the redstone engineering block. I don't see why not. Redstone engineering. I will get this, this stuff automated today. Even if the episode's like an hour. Oh, it's because I'm flying. Weird. Uh, you. Okay, maybe not. Alrighty, guys. So I did a little bit of extra work. Okay, so we don't need that. Let me get actual glass, though. Ooh, I might need to teach you how to make some glass can we get normal sand please don't 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 one plus one equals two don't make it any more harder than it needs to be game i believe this is it yeah So I should be able to, I don't have a grid over here, actually. Uh, you, this one's going to be, yeah, this is going to be the circuit board. Circuit board R us. No, that's, uh, sorry. That's the vacuum tube. And then I need to figure out where the block outputs. I believe it's in the front here. I'm going to take a gander and say that's the the output. Because I don't see any orange. Like. Thingies. Whatever you call it. Output thingies. And we should be able to now just be able to make circuit boards. Which is what we needed for the. Thing. So you need to learn how to make circuit boards. Oh, you also need to learn to make insulating glass. 
Oh, I need to teach it how to make clear glass, don't I? That's easy enough though. Clear glass is not that hard to make. Clear glass. And then you're gonna go downstairs to the crafting. And it's one big crafting chain, so that's gonna be fun. Uh nope, you go over here. We are running desperately out of crafting space. Holy cow. We are definitely running out of crafting space. All right, so this should in theory work. Okay, so you're going to be the circuit board boy. And you're going to be the vacuum tube boy. Okay. So let's actually, let's tell it to make like 16 circuit boards or something. If it can, obviously. 16 circuit boards. All right, what are you not knowing how to make? nickel ingots okay so it's doing that stupid bug again not surprised at all with that so let's just go ahead and do you know what i could do every ingot that has which i'm gonna call it an emc value i should just give a drawer to and then have that like the things pull from that drawer that would probably be the more smarter approach to deal with this stupid bug. But, but then am I going to have to do that for every single item that I'm going to need to auto craft? I don't know. Is it even worth it? So that should now be making pulverized iron. Beautiful. I just heard it stamping some stuff down here. So it looks like this is also working, which is great. And then I'm hoping that this is going to work over here. I'm not 100% certain. But it should in theory work. Okay. You set the vacuum tube. Oh, you're also set to not pull items yet. That's fine. So you're going to pull, push pull push that should process stamp and i can't tell if it's it seems to be working and this seems to be working which means that it's working, maybe, I think. Let's see. A circuit. Yep, it is working. We have a fully automated circuit board farm. That is awesome. That means we can pretty well, actually, well, not yet, because we still got to auto craft a lot of this stuff, too. Oh, oh, that's going to be a lot of fun. But with that being said, guys, unfortunately, it is time to wrap up today's episode. So with that being said, if you guys did enjoy today's episode, please do me a huge favor. Leave a like on the video. Also, hit that subscribe button as we're on our way to 500 subscribers. Also, don't forget to follow me on all my social media. So will be linked in the description down below. As always, guys, I'm going to love you. I'm going to leave you. Till next time. <laughs>